So, uh, this is my current setup. I removed the old relays. They actually burnt out, so I'm using a uh, slower, but a very robust relay. I'm getting a little bit of discharge in here, which is like, oh, you can see the discharge in the background. Uh, I'm no longer using the analog clock. I'm using a clock that's driving the um, base of the CJT here, which is driving the uh, inductor in here. Got an oscilloscope, but it's not just the right time division for what I'm looking at. Got my frequency generator. This guy is running the fan. This guy is the power supply for the spark gap generator. This is the power supply for the inverter. And this is the inverter again. So, now we're going to do the front row seat. And let's see how this guy can It's kind of interesting how different frequencies it'll it'll behave. I'm only incrementing in 10 right now, but you get a kind of nice little burst there. It's a little warm. I've been running it for a bit. But there it goes again. So i got to kind of be good with it. Uh, I probably need to put some more... Uh, I got a fan right here blowing through it, but I've been running it for on and off for the last oh, couple hours. So uh, whenever I do end up designing this to be more robust for long-term testing, I need to space this out because I was noticing some discharge actually happening. Well, when I was using these guys right here, I was noticing some discharge from here to here. Well, from here to the uh, so if I let some light in, you'll see over here to the left and right I got the, these two uh, clamps. And then the, uh, which is a little hard to see, is I basically have a needle uh, with some insulating material. So it's actually isolated from this. The only disadvantage of that is um, it's basically a big floating capacitor. Every now and then you'll get a discharge off that way. The car place is the same potential, but the whole reason I was avoiding that was because this is acting like a large cap and I thought it would affect our behaving. Though, uh, I'm getting really nice sparks at lower frequencies now, so um, my setup seems to have gained a lot more pierced at capacitance. Um, so anyways, but this is my spark gap generator.